What's up, everybody? You're listening to Occult Symbolism and Pop Culture. I'm your host, Isaac Wiseup. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Isaac, what happened? Why is the name of the show not Conspiracy Theories and Unpopular Culture? And that's what this whole show is going to be about. Give me five minutes, maybe 10, 15 tops. I'm going to explain to you what's going on, all right? As pointed out by some listeners, I'm changing the podcast name. And I wanted to provide an explanation. I actually thought for... (laughs) I thought nobody was even going to notice, to be honest. Uh, But here we are. And I thought, you know what? I owe it to some of you guys have been around for a very long time. Since 2014, we've been exploring a lot of taboo and fringy subjects. And in fact, I've got the description here for the Conspiracy Theories and Unpopular Culture podcast. And I will read it to you now. Author of The Dark Path, Isaac Weishaupt hosts the show focused on pop culture and its role in the occult agenda to instill ritualistic symbolism in entertainment. This podcast provides unbiased opinions and discussion on the symbolism, theories, pop culture, music, film, gossip, and celebrity tabloids in a safe and positive light with respect to all opinions and worldviews. Isaac Weishaupt has been on the leading edge of theories surrounding the elusive Illuminati and its infiltration of the entertainment industry. Using examples of familiar pop culture and works of entertainment, Isaac has been speaking and writing about the occult from a unique perspective that seeks to understand the big agenda while helping others along the way. Now, as you can tell by that description that's been live for many years, the show has always had a certain leaning that sets it apart from most conspiracy type podcasts i don't focus our efforts because you're a part of this we right i don't focus our efforts on exploring the news in general right unless it's celebrity news then we're talking about it (laughs) politics geopolitics those kinds of scandals because i Firmly, firmly believe in old school truth or perspectives that both political parties accelerate an agenda, not just one particular party. And of course, it's not every member of both political parties. It's some actors within each party, right? I use that logic. It's a theory. It's a theory I think could be possibly real, right? I also think it's a futile effort to debunk and fact check the news all the time because every news outlet and every story will have arguably an opinion or perspective you know any of these mainstream even the independent researchers any news source any any even the truther shows they all have their they all come with their biases their opinions their blind spots their angles you know when they say To a hammer, everything's a nail. That's kind of how it goes. And I respect you more than to just say, here's what you're going to hear me tell you what the truth is, and you're going to listen to it. I'm not looking for yes-mans out there. I'm looking for critical thinking, people that can handle alternative ideas. We don't have to agree, you know? And I don't believe that any of those topics... Um, bear any fruit worth going into. I believe they promote divisiveness. I believe they keep us separated from one another. It makes us hate each other and have boogeymen. And quite frankly, that's not the world I want to live in. And I don't get into those topics because I think it ultimately, if you pay attention to any of these news shows or truth or news outlets... It always goes back to their personal beliefs and their opinions. And that's fine. Like, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying, to me, that's not what I'm about. I'm not trying to force my opinion upon you and make you believe what I believe. I think you're a smart enough person. You can come to your own conclusion and your own opinion. I provide the information and the research. Sometimes I provide my opinion because a lot of people ask for it. So... I and also, and on top of that, things have gotten very strange the last few years. I believe there is a major psyop agenda. 
behind this takeover of the truther and conspiracy community. And it's promoting more division and more hate, I believe. Years ago, I created my podcast description and I said that I'll be discussing opinions in a safe and positive light because that's what I want all of us to surround ourselves with. Division, to me, is a tool of hate and the Illuminati, if you want to call them that, this control group hidden in the shadows, if you want to believe that, they know how to use it better than anyone. Even non-Illuminati, even just plain old politics, that's what they do. They tell you about boogeymen and pump you up full of fear to gain your gain power. And then on top of all this, me personally dealing with the struggles of, you know, normal stuff, normal depression, anxiety stuff. I've talked about it for many years. I need that positive energy in my life, in my personal life. And I know it wouldn't hurt you in the audience to have some as well. It's not like there's too much positivity going on out there. And for years, I've fought to try and maintain this old definition of conspiracy theorist or truther even but as you know it's completely gone off the rails i believe these are terms that have now been hijacked and they associate with ideas that i not only disagree with i refuse to be associated with their ideologies buried behind a lot of this stuff and it's very unnerving and i haven't taken this decision lightly It's going to cause a mountain of work for me behind the scenes to update all these references from conspiracy theories and unpopular culture to the new title, Occult Symbolism and Pop Culture. But it's going to be worth it. Even even if you remove this idea that the term conspiracy has been sullied, it's very clear that the big agenda, the social movement, is... Condemning and even shutting down alternative schools of thought. Look what, hap- look what happened to Alex Jones. Sued for a billion dollars, right? Right or wrong, I'm not, I'm not inserting my opinion into that. I'm just saying that's what's going on. And I think that the, the show title of occult symbolism and pop culture is a more accurate term for what we research. And I want the title to align to the show. I'm realigning my whole life to try to be more positive uh, practicing practicing daily affirmations i'm watching less horror movies and listening to less violent music and stuff it's not going away but um <laughs> it's gone down quite a bit um and again conspiracy is now a term that five years ago meant something evoked thoughts and feelings and ideas of something that i no longer um feel like represent me or us or what we talk about i feel like the whole community went in a direction that i don't want to hitch my wagon to i'm not saying that i'm not still following the pulse of that community i'm just not going down with the whole ship you know the writings on the wall the term conspiracy is very tainted it's not going to get any better there's too much negativity and anger behind it And I have enough negativity in my life to combat. So we're doing it. And I was hanging on. For years I was hanging on to this thing. And I don't know why. I guess because I grew up and growing up researching this stuff in the 90s and 2000s. And even in the early 2010s. That term conspiracy meant something almost completely different. I mean it's not like you listen to the show before the title anyway. So who cares right? If you like the information and the research, that's what I will continue to do. The same exact type of show, same exact subjects, just a new title for various reasons. There's actually a lot more reasons than this, but I wanted to give you the the big ones, the big hitters, right? Occult symbolism and pop culture is a much more accurate title, but nothing's going to change. Content remains identical. In fact, I went through some content creation books on strategy of how to present information as a podcaster and i want to because i want to be more clear on my messaging for instance i'm now looking at my research through the filter of five buckets of information 
And like I said, we're still going to talk conspiracy. I'm still talking conspiracy-related knowledge. That's going to be one bucket. Like we did a show on the Knights Templar. And I've got a bunch more. I'm actually working on some that are <laughs> pretty controversial. Uh, two, occult-related knowledge. You know, occult bel- belief systems, philosophies, religions, whatever you want to call it. And from these two knowledges, it's going to flow into these three areas. We're going to have shows about pop culture, shows about film and television analysis. You know, a lot of people like the movie analysis stuff. I'll continue to do those, of course. And then aliens. Aliens are always an intriguing, um, you know, sort of spirituality element there. So basically, you know, it's the same. Everything I've been talking about, I'm just going to try to put them into these buckets and rotate through the buckets, you know, because some people, they say, hey, man, you've been talking about Stranger Things, you know, T- that's my TV analysis bucket. You've been talking about that for five weeks. I'm done with it. I'm over it. I hear you. We're going to rotate through it. Some people loved it, by the way. I actually got more loves than hates about it, but but I get it, right? I'm going to try to rotate through, rotate through those things. And uh, one last thing, well, a couple last things. I was reading... The Hidden Messages of Water, a book by Dr. Emoto. If you've seen the documentary, What the Bleep Do We Know? You are familiar with this. It's about how they did experiments looking at water crystals under a microscope, okay? And it says in there, the most important revelation is that of resonance. Sounds of the same frequency resonate. What it means is that like sounds attract. Thus, vibrations attract with each other. It's like a dog will howl when it hears a siren, okay? And if you want to get into engineering nerd talk, and I took a digital signal processing class in college, there's a frequency following effect, similar idea, where frequencies will harmonize. And the book says that people who generate similar frequencies are attracted to each other, resulting in friendship. And Dr. Emoto observed that people try to align sometimes with high frequencies of Christ or Buddha to try to emulate God. Yet at the same time, they could resonate with lower frequencies with examples of that being, you know, Billy the Kid or violent criminals. Why is that? Well, he says it's the same frequency, just a different octave. It's like having a eight-fold increase, but it's still resonant. Anyhow, point is this. Conspiracy, the term has become polluted and negative and political and it actually doesn't align with what we talk about. Um, and that's another reason. And I'm trying to change it. So like what I'm trying to say about this water experiment book, your vibe attracts your tribe is a term you hear often. And you're my tribe and we need to make sure we got the right vibe, right? So that's the reason I'm changing the title. Also, I'm not doing the Inside the Mind of a Conspiracy Theorist show on Rockfin anymore. It was quite the journey. Uh, we It started out with, I wanted to talk about truth or drama, being in this truth or world and problems and drama that I see, but it was actually attracting itself to me, to negativity towards me, many times over. And, you know, it just screws me too hard. I just, I just can't handle it. I just don't want that in my life. I want this to be a fun positive place for both of us and don't worry if you're on rock i'm not leaving rockfin i love rockfin right you can still access all the shows i've done on there for the last two years the inside the mind shows uh you're still going to get all the future bonus content shows and the video versions and all that nothing changes there either right um but with this new title of the show it's possible and maybe even likely i just don't know how much time i'm going to have to maybe even start a new website or blog with similar type articles I could write. Recall I got sued. Because again, this is a very dangerous territory. And I had to take them all down from IlluminatiWatcher.com. Maybe I'll start a new YouTube channel. I don't know. This is all on some some real maybe type-ish. Eventually I will make new shirts with the new logo. I mean the logo is the same font, same image, just different words on it. Which also, by the way, if you have one of the original Conspiracy Theories and Unpopular Culture logo shirts, you've got an OG shirt, because guess what? I'm not buying those ever again. Uh, There's a few left. If you want some, you can get in on it. You're going to be part of a group, a select group, 
where that window closes and you'll be one of the OGs that have been on since before the switch. The fork, if you want to talk crypto. Um, and that's it. Also, oh, uh, kind of unrelated, but sort of. Patri- pa- okay, so Patreon, right? I've got a Patreon, as you know. And for years, I've been concerned about being under the, uh, what do you call it? The sort of Damocles was hanging over my head. Because I was like, man... Here I am on Patreon. They're kicking a bunch of conspiracy-related content off of here. My show was called Conspiracy Theories. Surely they're looking at me, and I was worried they were going to kick me off. They allowed me to give you an annual discount. If you paid for the whole year, I was able to give you a discount, but I disabled that because I was worried what was going to happen was you'd pay me for a year, and then two months later, Patreon bans me. As you know, on my website, you go to the Start Here tab, you'll read my whole sad sob story of all the censored experiences I've had well I feel that by changing the title I feel like that's going to make it put us in a lot safer of a position so I actually enabled the annual discounts on Patreon now if you're already on or you're interested in signing up and I maxed it out to 16% you can sign up and get 16% off if you sign up for the full year Um, and also a quick plug for my version of patreon on illuminatiwatcher.com you go to the vip tab if you sign up for the vip which is gets you pretty much the same stuff as patreon i can give you 20 percent off there because that's the thing i own i run that i took i took some cues from the great greg carlwood all right so there you go that's the updates almost 15 minutes damn i'm good <laughs> so anyway i wanted to let you know that's what the, the, the title's changing nothing else is changing it's uh, amalgamation of different events that have happened and I'm just so sick of it I'm just so tired of being worried about all this crap and I thought this is just an easy solution it makes more sense it aligns better to the show and it's going to bring a more positive vibe so there you go all right thanks for listening and uh you know you're now listening to the occult symbolism and pop culture show with Isaac Weishaupt Till next time stay woke